REM is short for real ear measurement. You do a REM in order to take the proportions of an individual client's ear canals into account when fitting a hearing aid. When performing a REM, you insert a small probe tube into the client's ear. While playing a test signal, the sound level in each ear is measured. First, the real ear measurement is done without a hearing aid. With this measurement, a fitting target is calculated. Afterwards, you insert the hearing aid into the ear canal with the probe tube still in place, and the real ear measurement is performed again. This is because the hearing aid changes the natural resonance of the ear canal. The aided measurement is then compared to the fitting target. If the target is not matched, fine-tuning can be made accordingly. The size of the ear canal has a significant impact on the hearing aid amplification. The smaller the ear canal is, the higher the sound pressure inside the ear canal will be. This means that if a person with very small ear canals and a person with very big ear canals are fitted with the exact same average gain, the person with small ear canals will be over amplified and the person with big ear canals will be under amplified. There are many benefits of REM. REM assists you in matching the target. This way, you obtain a better first fit which again decreases the likelihood of the hearing aids ending up in a drawer. It also saves you time as the client is likely to be more satisfied and need fewer fine-tuning visits. REM can also be used as a counseling tool since it provides a visual representation of the amplification that is easier to read and understand than the numbers on the fitting screen. If you are dealing with a challenging client, such as a small child or an adult suffering from, for example, dementia or aphasia, REM may be a crucial tool since it provides you with the feedback the client is otherwise unable to give. Furthermore, real ear measurements can be used for troubleshooting. If the client has complaints, like not being able to hear soft sounds, for instance, it can be verified with REM. Working with hearing loss, REM is the only way to reach an objective evaluation of a pair of hearing aids while the client is wearing them. In REM AutoFit, in Genie 2, gain is automatically matched to the selected target quickly and easily. To perform REM AutoFit in Genie 2, your REM equipment and REM software must be installed on the same PC as Genie 2. Genie can communicate with equipment that supports the IMC2 protocol through NOAA 4.4 or later. IMC2 is an industry standard for REM equipment defined by HIMSA, the Hearing Instrument Manufacturers Software Association. If you use Genie 2 standalone, you can use Affinity and Callisto equipment from Interacoustics and Avant REM Speech Plus. Avant REM Speech, and Avant REM SP from MedRx. You can choose to see the measurement either as insertion gain or output in situ. Go to the Customize Software screen. Choose Measurement Modules. Under Initial Graph in AutoFit, select your preference. Before beginning the REM, Make sure that the selected acoustics are correct for your specific client. You must also run the feedback analyzer. Now proceed to the fitting step. To perform REM AutoFit, select REM under More Tools. In the REM tool, automatic features will be switched off during the measurement. On the REM screen, click REM AutoFit to open the tool. To begin the AutoFit procedure, calibrate the probe tubes as shown on the instructions. For further instruction, please refer to the user manual of your specific REM system. The probe tube calibration removes the acoustic effects that the probe tube and microphone may cause during a REM. 
press Start to begin the probe tube calibration for the side you wish, or both for calibration of both sides. If you click both, the calibration will run simultaneously or sequentially, depending on your REM equipment. When the calibration is done, you are ready to do the REM. Click 2, Unaided. Place your client facing the loudspeaker at a distance of one half to one meter or yard. The loudspeaker should never face a wall since it will reverberate the signal. Perform an otoscopy to secure the ear canal is clear. Then place the probe tube in your client's ear canal. The probe tube should be placed within six millimeters or a quarter of an inch of the tympanic membrane. Click Start to measure the Real Ear Unaided Gain, or REUG for short. You can measure the side you wish, or click both to measure both sides. You can now see the measured REUG in the graph, together with an average REUG. The curve shown is an average curve and not a target. Your measured curve may deviate to some extent from the average. Make sure your measurement is above minus 5 dB at 6 kHz. To continue to Real Ear Aided Gain, or REAG for short, click 3 Aided. Insert the hearing aids into the client's ear without displacing the probe tube. Press Start or Both and the aided measurement will be performed. The insertion gain is now displayed on the graph. The REAG is a calculation of the unaided measurement subtracted from the aided measurement. And so the Rugu when gave how to the Holesh to free is that of Ruta at Min Fella Shuka to sing rap treaties by the Hazel. Shut and Muhring, Rodolte, Canada and the other. Shut and Muhring, Rodolte, Canada and the other. Shut and Muhring, Rodolte, Canada and the other. Pimming the box, Porton and Allah hearing with water, La Bisa Blah. The insertion gain curve is then matched to the target. The REM autofit system automatically changes the gain in the hearing aids to match the best possible target within the limits of the hearing aids and the selected acoustics. After changing the gain prescription, REM autofit runs the measurement again to verify the fitting. While autofit adjusts the gain, the feedback limits are applied so you can assure that no feedback will occur. The normal compression limits in Genie are applied to avoid intolerable sounds. The measurement can be done at 50, 65, and 80 dB. 65 dB is required, while 50 and 80 dB are optional. All three levels will be run if chosen, but only the 65 level will be used for calculating the gain adjustments in Genie. The calculated autofit corrections are linear and are applied equally for all input levels. If the target cannot be reached, please check that the selected hearing aid and acoustics are appropriate for the hearing loss and that the feedback limit is not limiting the gain prescription. If you can't reach target, check the help files for suggested solutions. For fine-tuning and further adjustments of the gain, you can choose the manual option. After manual fine-tuning, REM AutoFit runs the measurement again to verify the fitting. Select 4, Finish, to conclude the measurement. In this step, you can choose whether you want to keep the measurements and the gain corrections or not. Select Include Manual Fine Tuning to apply adjustments made under the manual step. Manual fine tuning is only applied to the current program and linked programs. If you do apply the measurements, you can remove them later on via the Hearing Instruments tab in the menu. The REUG measurement will still be saved and used in the gain prescription.
If you need to delete these measurements, you must go to the REUG tool and choose Predicted. Genie will then use Average REUG for prescription. If you make changes to acoustics, REUG, RECD, instruments, or age after the REM, the measurements and the REM autofit corrections will be deleted. If, on the other hand, changes are made to the fitting rationale or the audiogram, the measurements and the corrections will stay. By using the REM autofit tool, you will get a more precise and individual fitting, which saves time in the clinic. Actually, you can perform a REM autofit measurement in under six minutes. For further information on real ear measurements, please refer to the reference list. Thank you for your time.